<laughs> so so we'll, we'll touch on that in a second but there was two things in there that i wanted to kind of pick up on before i uh I moved on you mentioned that he brought up the point that more white people are killed by cops when you did your research what did you end up finding out to to answer to that so best best is my knowledge uh numerically there are more whites mm. killed by police officers yep. than black people yep. however if you take it per capita, the numbers are way different, right? Yeah. The hardest part about when you explain that to people, then they go, and this is, oh, this is one of the other things I learned. You ready? Mm -hmm. I've got your question. I have your answer. You ready? Here's your answer. And then, oh, here's another question. Yeah. I didn't yeah. really want it. They didn't really want the answer of the first one. No, no. Moving the no. goalposts is a very common tactic in those situations. Yeah, for sure. So you're so used to this. I didn't even know that analogy. Moving the goalposts. There you go. So then, then the problem goes to, well, more blacks commit more crime than other people. And unfortunately, as far as I can tell, I didn't do a ton of research on it, yeah. but Capita, there is an inner city that mm -hmm. has a strong DNA around uh, some criminal behavior, right? Mm -hmm. And then what ends up happening is that there's no, and I didn't know this. This was like news to me. Right, right. I would like to know what the source is. Uh, there's a source on this. Um, what ended up happening was during the civil rights movement, the taboo around being arrested was alleviated. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Did you know about this? You ever heard of this? Yeah, I mean, John Lewis was arrested how many times, you say, 20, 30 times or something like that? I had no idea. Like, that was like a thing. Like, okay, fine, we're going to protest, you arrest us, and then we'll get out and do this over again. Mm -hmm. I had no awareness about that. And so it, it would seem to make sense that if a culture ha lost some of that taboo, that mm. you might have more arrests and it wouldn't be such a, a, a weird thing. However, now we're talking about crime, not protesting, you know, like these are very different things. And I think people like to lump all that together yeah. and then um, it, it gets lost in the middle because we miss, um, we miss that some cultural things lose their influence over time and they can take on a different morphing, right? Mm. With a new, new mindset. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got you. So the two things I'll touch on really quick there too, because there was something that I, I don't know if you just missed it or if you, maybe you were not aware, but one of the things when it comes to uh, the black people commit more crime uh, argument, it's not like crime is a thing you can find. Crime is a thing that has to be discovered by stopping someone, as you said, and the research out overwhelmingly shows that black people are more likely to be stopped. So if black people commit, and the, the analogy I've been using is that if black people smoke weed at the same number of times that white people do, uh, let's say it's four out of 10. I don't know what the actual number is, but it's just for argument's sake, it's four out of 10. Well, if you stop 100 black people and you only stop 50 white people, it's gonna say that they get arrested at half the rate. So crime isn't something that is just out there and it immediately turns somebody in. It has to be looked for, it has to be stopped. And if you're stopping a group more, which over-policing in the black community is a well-known fact as well. And again, the research bears this out. It's not just anecdotal, uh, then you're gonna have that. And secondary to that, like you said, the taboo around arrest has been removed because that is the reality of the black experience for a lot of people going way, way back is you're gonna get arrested. Not even specifically when you're protesting, when you're doing something, uh, yeah. quoting John Lewis again. Right, yeah. right. You're quoting, quoting John Lewis again, getting into good trouble. You're just doing nothing and you're arrested for it. And so you can't make it taboo to get arrested if I'm going to be arrested for no cause. You know what I mean? So mm. it's not just protesting. It's not just doing good trouble. It's not those things. It's also just the uh, prevalence of being arrested for little to no cause. And so if that is my experience, how can it be taboo to be arrested anymore? I'm going to be arrested. I have to accept that as fact because I know so many people who it's true for. And again, the numbers bear this this type of thinking out. So, uh, just those two things really quick uh, to go. Uh, and what's imp I love I love that because um, uh, the piece, the piece specifically about how enforcement and uh, patrolling works right. is usually set policy wise by the district, right? The policing mm -hmm. says, yep. "Oh man, we have crime over here." Now, it's not like the black community says, we don't want any cops here to investigate these homicides. Nobody mm -hmm. says they don't want justice for their kids who die by gang violence or whatever, right? They, they do want to have uh, not a lawless land. However, um, what I find is interesting, I'll go back to my cop friend. Right. Um, there's not, I don't have people coming in front of my house very often to do drive-by patrols, mm -hmm. right? Like, 
if you trolled my neighborhood often enough, you'd find out that the guy who lives right over here sells plenty of drugs. <laughs> plenty. I have even called to try to turn him in. I didn't realize all I had to do was say he's black. That would have yeah. done it. Yeah. Kidding. Dark no, humor. You're, yeah. First of all, dark humor is another pun. And that's great. But uh, <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't mean that one. <laughs> yeah. But I uh, know <laughs> it's it, sad to say I'm not sure that that is even a joke. That's a joke because it's a true thing, not a joke because it's funny. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yes. No, but no, but I, I think, again, you're pointing out exactly what we're talking about, over-policing, and the more times you stick your hand into a Skittle bowl, the more likely you're going to come up with a red one, you know, right? Uh, I think there's red Skittles anyways, I, now yeah. that I'm questioning that. Yeah. <laughs> you think about it, in the white community, how many times could you pull over a car and find an expired bottle of hydrocodone? It might have been a prescription at one point, but after 30 days, now all of a sudden that bottle is no longer a licensed prescription, and you could be arrested for that. How many times do you have to pull people over in South Tampa before you're going to find some soccer mom that's got some old scripts laying around? Hmm? 